I gotta testify. What about Matt? I'm Melissa. And we're at the River Rock Casino in. And we're at the River Rock Casino in Vancouver, and we're about to find out what the difference is between Canadian players and U.S. players in the game of poker. Polos are hurt to rock before Cam got the shit to pop. The doors is closed. I felt like bad boy street team. I couldn't. Tell me the difference between an American poker player and a Canadian poker player. A uh, Canadian poker player might uh, lose all his stack and say nice hand. An American poker player might say, uh, ship it. I don't know, man. I think that the U.S. has a bigger uh, market. I mean, they got a lot more people down there. So, I mean, and all the big tournaments are down there. So, this is, I mean, for us Canadians, this is the kind of poker tournament that can kind of put us on the map. I think the play is good all over. The play really, really, I mean, has improved over the last year or two tremendously. In New York, where I'm from, it's always like, hey, yo, what's up? Big shout out to my boy. How did the Canadians do it? They say, what's up, eh? Do you say, eh? All the time. Let's eh? see. Eight. Out and about, and a shout out to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm out and about. Out and about. I think Canadians are have more patience. The American uh, players, a lot of them get caught up in the 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 kind of the promotion, not the promotion per perspective, but they see a lot of it on TV and they yeah. see all these things that are going on in TV, but in actual reality, it's not the optimum way to play. You gotta be patient. I think Canadian players are significantly more patient than uh, a lot of players around the world, and that's why Canadians do well. Uh, I think it's pretty relative, you know, same everywhere. Yeah? Yeah, everyone breathes air. Vancouver does have the Olympics here, so it's pretty special. I just want to say that Canadians are so nice. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. No, I wouldn't say that, you know, that there's uh, a big difference between an American and a Canadian player. You know, if they're coming down from the States and they're coming from Vegas and Los Angeles, where the majority of the guys are coming from, they're players. They know what they're doing, right? So they're tough players, right? Uh, they might have a little bit of a swagger to them. They might think they're, that, you know, that they're going to walk into Van Vancouver and, and dominate. But they soon realize that they've been coming here long enough, they're not going to do that, right? I don't remember the last time uh, an American's won this tournament. So one thing about Canada is they're way ahead of their times. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. There's Christmas trees everywhere. What about Thanksgiving? Melissa, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving like we do. They have a different Thanksgiving. Columbus was chilling with the Indians in Manhattan, not in Canada. It wasn't Columbus, it was the... Who was it? It was the Pilgrims. The Pilgrims. Pilgrims, Columbus. It's all the same. So my input yes. on style. You guys are very trendy, so are we. But I guess for us, because we're in Canada, it's, it's a little bit more like a fad. Like we follow you guys a little bit more. We're a little bit behind. Krishnaje is cool, but uh, it's a little played out. So I think New York has still got the... The fashion capital of the world. You can't beat that. I want to give a shout out to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, testify. Come up in a spot, look at extra fly.